Hello guys and welcome to Firebloods Gaming with David and there is no George today because today I am going to be doing a tutorial video, 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 a tutorial video on how to make Minecraft renders so these little guys in my background so the dude with the blazer rod and the bottom enchanting and stuff like that but in order to do this before like I start telling you how I do this you're going to need to download some things. You're going to need Cinema 4D on your on your computer, so it's going to need to be R11 or above. You're going to need the Minecraft Steve Rig Pack by Weed Lion, which are, there'll be a link in the description to this, and WinRAR or 7-Zip to open the file to extract it, which will also be in the description. So once you've got everything you need, you're going to need to start up um, your WinRAR and open up the Minecraft Steve Rig Pack. Once you've opened this, you need to go to here. You type in Run which would usually come up with the run logo thing but mine doesn't because vista fuck yeah and so I'm gonna go to that you type in percent app data percent just like you'll see like here and go percent app back I guess it's the same way you'd get to do the dot minecraft folder just do percent app data percent anyone who knows how to model minecraft should already know how to do this so percent app data percent you'd go into this folder here you scroll down you, until you find Maxon, which should be in capital letters. Then you open that, go into the file, it should say like your version of Cinema 4D, you find the one you're using, so R12 is the old version I used, I upgrade to R13, which is right here. You open up that, you go into the library, then browser, and you drag and drop the Minecraft Steve Rig Pack from here into here. And then once you've done that, that's all set to go. When you close down this, you can open up your Cinema 4D, and I'll see you when it's opened. Okay guys, I am back and I've opened up Cinema 4D now. So what you want to do when you get on this program is you want to either click up here, there should be a content browser button, or if you're using R13 on the side here, you would click content browser, you go into here, so you go into presets, and you'll find a bunch of folders here, or the folder you've chosen. It should be Brick Shader Sky, and right in here should be Minecraft Steve Rig. You want to open that and then open up the Steve model you want. So Steve main is the uh, it's the main rig that has larger eyes, they're square eyes. Steve no facial has no facial expression, so no mouth, no eyes, no eyebrows. It's just a plain Minecraft character. So that would be useful for things like if you have people that don't really have facial facial expressions at all, then you'd want to use that one. And then you've got Steve smaller eyes, which for some reason never comes up with a picture for me. But it's the one I use. You click on that, you double click it, it should open here. And as you can see now, if I render it, you will see little Steve over there. He's a bit smaller than me. Oh, a bit too far in. Up, up, up. There we go. And there's little Steve. So as you can see, he's got a mouth, he's got eyes and eyebrows, which is going to be the same with the Steve smaller eyes and the Steve large eyes. So if your character has square eyes, then you may want to use the large eyes one. But in my opinion, because my guy has smaller eyes, I'll use this one. So the first thing you want to do now is you want to open up your skin in here. So if you haven't already downloaded your skin or have it on your computer, now's a good time to start. So you'll click, you're going to user data. Once you've clicked on this, you go down to the bottom, custom skin. So what you do is you, um, once you've um, opened up the custom skin, so for me, I need to go to cleaning, not the folder called penis. Actually, it should be my desktop, as a matter of fact. My skin, my skin, where's my skin? Derpy me. That's my like new skin I had to redesign specifically for animating because the eyes were a bit derpy. But as you can see now, look, I load this up, look what happens. As you can see, you can still see my mouth from my skin and my eyes and well, the eyebrows have gone a bit derpy as well now. So what you're going to want to do at this point is you need to now edit your skin. So if your skin has facial expressions, like zoom, like that, when it has eyes and shit, you're going to need to delete that. So in order to do this, I'm going to start by opening this file in Photoshop CS5. So if this is loaded up, come on. I'll be back when this actually loads because my computer is a bit slow, so yeah. Okay, here we are, we're back with um, Photoshop open now, and this is my skin file. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the blah blah blah, this tool here. Uh, what's it called? the eyedropper tool, yes that, and you want to select your skin colour. So once you've selected your skin colour, get to the pencil and then just kind of 
rub over any facial features like eyes, mouth, nose, anything you've added, and then just save it so that it looks like, I don't know, just faceless. It has no facial expression. So now do that. No face. Save. Not. Like, yeah, actually, I was saving it as a PNG. Like, I'm an idiot. Derpy me. No face. You will then want to save this as a PNG image. It has to be a PNG or it just won't work because the alpha won't, like, render it as being a see-through area because we've done that you want to close it down and then here we go derpy me no face and when I open up cinema 4d again go back onto the user data scroll down to the bottom once again so using derpy me png we are now going to be using desktop derpy me no face so open yes and there we go my guy now has a facial expression without any derpy like eyes appearing underneath his eyes or mouth or anything so now what you want to do if your character has something like a hood or any second layers like headphones and things what you want to do is come to the bottom and tick the second layer box my guy has nothing on like the outside of his face so I don't need to worry about that okay now from this point you're going to want to start to like to begin to um, actually first you want to go up here to edit render settings you want to open that up, you want to choose your resolution, so I always print it at HDTV 1080 29.97 at current frame so make sure it says current frame or it won't work then go to save save it as a PNG with alpha channel enabled if this isn't enabled then that won't work ok you can change your channel, I'll put mine to 16 bit so I like have better depth on it and then you want to change the file so you want to choose where you're saving the file. As you can see, there's a ton of renders there from previous things I've made. So I'm going to save this one as test render, save. And now you'll see that this little grey line that was around, um, wow, well, around your um, screen here, that was the area in which the video could not, like, the picture could not see anything inside the light area. The picture will be able to see anything on this side of here. It will not see. So once you've set, set that up and you've chosen exactly where you want your character to be and stuff, you're going to want to set up his face first. So um, if you want to set up his face, you're going to want to render, click hair colour, choose screen colour, and then choose whatever colour you want it to be. So there we go. Now if I re-render it, his eyebrow should be the right colour. But I don't really like having them the exact same colour because they don't really stand out enough, so I'm going to darken it ever so slightly like that. Now I'll re-render it, it shouldn't look too bad, now the eyebrows should stand out. No, there we go. Then you want to choose his skin colour because the skin colour won't look like it won't change his actual skin colour but it will change his eye like his eyelid colour. You have control over the eyelids to make them appear from like well, his eyes. In the eye colour you can change whatever you like. I'm gonna have mine as my eye colour, so quite a light blue. And then if you want to move his pupils around, you use this little dialog thingy magic here whatever it's called. So I'm going to have him looking off over mm, down there. And then I'm going to change his pupil size to smaller because he looks a bit weird when he has giant pupils. And I'm going to rotate his eyebrows so he looks angry. So if you rotate that way he goes angry, if you rotate it that way he gets pissed, he gets like scared. So I'm going to make him angry. I'm going to move his eyebrow like that and like that. So now he's really angry, look at him, he looks so pissed off. I'm going to use the eyelids so that he closes his eyes a bit. So now if I render it, you should be able to see like, the facial expression starting to come together now. He's starting to get pissed off. I'm going, I'm going to put a smile on him, which may seem a bit weird as he's angry. But what you have to do in order to make him angry, like, you'll do a normal smile. So look, now he should be, like, grinning. You then go to smile rotation and flick it to this side and now his smile should be upside down and now he looks even angrier perfect now you want to, if you want to have his teeth completely closed you move it to 505 which will have his teeth touching like that in the middle if you don't want him to be, well, you could do that and then he looks like an old man with no teeth which looks a bit weird, so I'm going to put the teeth back on um, teeth size doesn't really matter in my opinion, I don't really use it teeth spacing, so if you want the lines in the teeth to be there you otherwise it's just that so I'm going to put two spacing back on and if you want to control how big his mouth is, so mouth wide that is the length going outwards so you can move that down and have him look like 
Bugs Bunny or have it like really far out and make him well whatever that would be so I'm gonna have his mouth right out I'm gonna have it really far open like that and now he looks very angry I guess with ginormous teeth and then so now now uh, so once you've done this bit you've now posted your character if you want him to piss off windows you're telling me I know my computer's crap <laughs> So now you want to select what you want them to have. So like you can have a helmet, you can have a chest plate, a legs, a booties, and a helmet. So if I want to, I could give him full armor like this. And his armor automatically like molds to his body. You'd have to worry about moving it around. It'll automatically do as it needs to be done. No, stop it. So now that you've chose your, your skin sorted out, you've chosen your facial expression, you want to start posing it. So click the plus button on your Steve um, rig, you want to go to IK Chains Feet. And then the first thing you want to do before you start doing anything is click right foot. And you'll notice down here there's a blue marker. I'm not sure if this is a glitch with the weed lion pack or anything. But for some reason there's always a keyframe on the right foot every time you load this up. So every time you load the character you want to make sure to go onto the right foot, click on it and then click delete make sure that keyframe is in there otherwise it will not let you move that foot at all which kind of sucks so now that you've done that you want to start posing your character so he's pissed off looking that way so I'm gonna have his foot outwards you click on right foot you do that and then you can move it around like this whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. so I'm gonna have him I don't know how can I pose him I'm gonna have him standing with his leg like that, you're gonna use the pot. So if you wanna make it so like as you can see now his leg doesn't look what the hell did I do? I clicked the wrong button, that's what I did. Back out, back out, back out. So as you can see right now, I like bent his leg in the wrong direction so it looks kinda of stupid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the pole and I'm gonna move it like that. So this pole will choose what orientation the leg will bend towards. So now his leg goes outwards like that, and now I'm going to bend this knee so he's kind of kneeling down. Like so. I'm going to move that one outwards so it's like off to the side. Change the pole so that it goes this way. Hello, good. And that'll work. So now that you pose the feet, you'd have to worry about using keyframes or anything. Open up bones, go to IK Chains Arms. You don't have to worry about removing any keyframes here. You then pose his arms in whichever position you want to pose them. So for now, I'm just going to leave one arm like that and one arm like that. So he's kind of just like, bring it on, bitch. And then I'm going to go onto the back. So you can bend his back in whichever direction you want to using the, the back feature. As you can see, look. I can also make him turn into Straw Hat Luffy. He can just kind of like fling himself like there you go he just shoot himself forward and kind of fucking smack him on I guess <laughs> so yeah the main back will bend it that will, uh, will bend like the whole of the, the torso and the top back will only bend well the top so I'm going to have him leaning forwards I'm going to click plus again I'm going to go onto the neck this is where you can control the head so I can make it pop off if I really want to or I can click the rotate button which is up here along with the enlargement button and the movement and then turn his head so he's facing that way so now he's facing towards where he was meant to be looking kind of he looks pretty pissed off to be honest and now I'm going to go ahead and give him a item so there uh, because no, now at this point you could quite easily click that button which is the render button it should show you like something like this Yours might not be zoomed in like mine, yours might just be like that. But mine starts at 100% render, 100% uh, zoom, and then you'll see like this will appear. You then click X, uh, minimize that, go to wherever you save it. So I saved this one in my documents, I do believe. Uh, blah, 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 test render, open system. And it will have a white see through background now, and there's your dude. So now, as I said, if you want to add an item, you could download Weedline's item pack, which will be to the same scale as the characters. So you'd have to worry about scaling the items to fit the character perfectly. So I'm going to do the item, actually, item pack, or what is it? I get confused every time. I think, yeah, you go into item pack, 
you got to do is under other. And God damn it. Item pack. Other. I'm not sure why, but I do believe the bow actually comes under. Yeah, here you go. Bow comes under other. Which I think is pretty weird. So here's the bow in the third position, which is the about to fire, the charged up position. If I go upwards and then look, you'll see that that's the bow when it's just about to fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to pose my character to be holding this bow. So I'm going to move the bow into position. I'll choose whatever position I want it to be in with him. So it's going to need to be rotated, it's going to need to be facing the direction that he's getting angry at. So like if he's pissed off on the floor, he can shoot the floor, I guess. And then, like that. So that's actually a terrible posing of the no, object, bow, like that. And then I need to have it so his forehand or his front hand would be on the front of the bow, and then oh, I hate posing. So yes, move into position. Go to the bones, IK change hands, and put his hands in whatever position you think they need to be on the bow, or the item you've given him. So in this case, my, for me, it is a bow. So I'm going to like. This is so dodgy. I don't even know what I'm doing. Put one hand on that bit of bow. We need to rotate this because this isn't in the right alignment. Do you rotate it like that, I guess, and then moved out a bit, like so. Then you want to bring his other hand forwards so that it stops being a douche, stop it. That is on the end of the arrow, like so. So now he's I don't know what he's doing, he's hugging the bow. I'm no good at this. But there you go, if I render, we'll get this in a good position first. So zoom out. Maybe like that. And then render it. You'll see that he's now kind of firing a bow, I guess. Not very well firing a bow, but nonetheless, he's firing a bow. You can click the render button again. Yes, I do want to overwrite the, pre the previous test render. And there you have it. There is him holding a bow, attentively shooting with my terrible posing. Okay, so now there's other things that I've done in my um, in my renders that people have asked me about. So things like when I made my um, what's it called? the blaze rod glow in the one that is well, this one here. You see his blaze rods glowing. I did this by using the uh, texture um, editing. You go on to, so you click on texture, which will be the items texture for this, you can click up there if you want to and it'll select it down here. Then you want to go to basic, you want to scroll down and you want to go to glow. So now if you put glow on it, this should glow. I'll load it up and there you go, we have a glowing bow. Now as you can see it looks pretty well tacky, it doesn't look very good, it doesn't look like a good glow. So what you want to do, you want to turn on the outer strength, you want to boost the inner strength. Not too high because otherwise you get to the point where you literally cannot tell what the item is anymore. And it just looks like a shiny mess. But there you go. That looks an IKEA by like a bow, I guess. And then you can move your camera to whatever position you feel fit and render it again. And then if you need to render a second version of it, you just add the two, I guess. And then render again. Rendering, 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 rendering. So I hope this guide was helpful for you guys. I kind of stuttered a lot and had a lot of problems because it's the first sort of tutorial I've ever done. So if there was anything that I missed out in this tutorial that you feel that I need to tell you guys about, then put a uh, comment in the description and I'm sure I'll be sure to help you out. Because I put I, I missed loads in this thing because it, I couldn't really fit it all into one tutorial because there's a lot to talk about. So guys, if this was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. If... I don't know, penis, maybe. Just, okay, bye guys. Bye. Bye.